right, gang, listen up. This is D. Snyder, and let me tell you something. You're on the Reef with Gus Wilson. <laughs> Squid Seekers, why is Gus Wilson dancing? Because dancing on the beach creates vibrations in the water, tickling the squid's underbelly and improving squid-seeking conditions. Perform this scientific dance every time you go squid-seeking and improve your local conditions. Now let's dance our way back to headquarters. Here's Gus Wilson. Conditions are at an all-time high. It looks like we have some incredible, exciting news as far as squid seeking. Mr. Wilson. Squid seekers, hold on. Go ahead. We have some dead squid that washed up on the beach. There's got to be some kind of problem. Headquarters to Chopper Rescue 4. Do you see anything out of the ordinary along the beach? We got a guy on the beach in a Speedo. He ain't looking so good. This could be tragic. Northern Lifeguard, Northern Lifeguard. Uh, go ahead. Do you see a fat man in a Speedo? I see him. Take him out. I'm on it. The squid rely on it. Can Gus revive the squid by using Henson's squid CPR techniques? Look at that dedication. He's... He's... He's done it! It's a miracle! The banana hammocks played in havoc, killing the marine life over the world. If you fat no beast and you cover the creases, the speedos no no for you. What a nut hammock world. You need a moo moo. And I think to myself, what a nut hammock world. Squid Seekers, you just saw the effects of someone who wears a speedo that shouldn't. What it does to the marine life. It's terrible. When Speedos are worn by people that shouldn't have them on, the marine life can see these from underwater. They begin to die, and they float to the surface. And before you know it, just like this, they wash up onto the beach. If you see dead marine life on the beach, look around. If you see someone in a Speedo, call the authorities. Make a difference. Save the marine life. I'm Gus Wilson, and you're on the reef. 